What if this doesn't work? You know, what if this is all a farce? What if I decide to make this choice and, and then it turns out that all the principles that you guys have been telling us, it just doesn't work? Well, first of all, that's just ridiculous on its face. There, there's no scenario in this world where you not living paycheck to paycheck is a bad thing. If you get to a point in time in this continuum where you have 10 or 15 or 20 years worth of expenses saved up, and then somewhere down the road, the stock market crashes and burns and none of this works and, and you do run out of money, your perpetual money-making machine has disappeared, then your worst case scenario is your neighbors every day. You have to go back to work. They've been at work this entire time because week after week, they're paycheck to paycheck. It's this hamster wheel. And many times when you're on the hamster wheel, because you're not seeing your kids, right? How You don't have time to see your kids. Your boss needs you to come in extra on Sunday to put that extra time in to file those TPS reports. You want to make sure that you're working, you're, you're doing a great job so you can get that next promotion. And you know that next promotion is gonna allow you to get the new lease on the car that you've been eyeballing because the new model of the car that you are a fan of is coming out next year and it's been out of issue for a while, you know? Um, so you're putting all this overtime and you want to do a good job. Every single extra dollar you, you make is pursuing the next thing you're going to buy. And you're buying all this stuff because you're not happy. And you're buying this stuff to fill this void in your life because I'm so busy. If I just had the new car, it would make my life easier. I deserve it. You know how hard I'm working. We're trying to put food on the table. We're trying to afford this house that we want to move into next year because we have a growing family and bunk beds aren't going to cut it. So we really need to get a place that we will be able to grow into. That you know that is That's the next move. So I've got to get this next promotion but it is going to require me commuting a little bit farther. I'm going to have to commute an hour to work each day. And on top of that, because I'm farther away, I probably should get a better car because my six-year-old car, you know, that's six years old. So I need to get the newest thing because we don't want to have a breakdown with, you know, with, with this longer commute. So you're financing the car, you're commuting longer, and you're always striving to get that next level of income. That way you can tell your neighbors and your family and your coworkers that you have made it. But you're, bought, you're using stuff as a way to fill your unhappiness. And Phi, what our community does is it takes that framework and it just spins it and puts it on its head and says, instead of you buying stuff to fill this general sense of unhappiness, what if you just focused on what made you happy? Let's just go straight to the source and let's get rid of stuff that makes you unhappy. And what you do when you find that is probably your long commute is making you very unhappy. Probably the fact that you're paycheck to paycheck and you're having fights with your spouse about what you guys can and can't afford is making you unhappy. Probably the fact that you haven't seen your kids or participated in any of your kids' events and your spouse feels like they're just in it alone is making your family unhappy. If you focus on savings rate, clawing your time back, and realizing that every moment you have is precious, you are going to be happier and hence you need less stuff to fill that void. Now let's say you get to the point that you are at Phi and you've make it, you've made a choice to, to reduce, at least reduce your the hours that you're spending at work. You you no longer are at work 60 or 70 hours a week. Maybe you're doing part-time work or you've gotten out of the workforce entirely. What do you do with that time? And I think for me, and I, and I can't project this onto our entire community, but I do think that there's a correlation here. Our community, instead of collecting stuff, which it's becoming dust, right? It's every single year your iPhone is getting slightly more out of date and less usable. Unfortunately, there's a new iPhone coming out that is $1,000 that you can buy to replace that. So you always have the newest gadget and gizmo and widget. But instead of just collecting stuff, what if you could collect skills and you put your time into collecting those skills? How much more valuable of a person does that make you? How much more rewarding is that? It, it puts you into different situations that you wouldn't be if you're always in if you're always on that hamster wheel. That, the hamster wheel forces you to go on the same path, to go on the same commute day after day, week after week. But if you start collecting skills and stretching your stuff and you start focusing on storytelling and negotiation and real estate and woodworking and art, cooking, relationships, if you start putting your time and energy into these tangible skills, it's going to refine this life and make this the, the colors of this life that you're living more vivid and more enjoyable in every single way. So it kind of, it's, it's this parallel storyline to the, the, the personal finance aspect of what we're talking about. But when you take both of those together, you put them together, it creates a framework that allows you to, <laughs> creates a framework that allows you to design this future that you can get excited about living into. So it's not the finance and it's not the skills, but it's the 
taking both of those different elements and focusing on what brings value to your life and then putting all of your time and your energy into that. And I think Phi is just a framework that encompasses those ideas. It's big enough, it's big enough. It doesn't have to, it, it's, not, it's not limited to the small world of politics. Phi doesn't subscribe to some sort of political ideology. It's a framework that allows us to build lives of value that we can share with our families and our neighbors. And there's very few, there's very few ideas that have the ability to radically transform your life within a period of weeks. And I think Phi is one of them.